Your time starts now. I am from Youth Impact Parliament, and my name is Kendo Elizabeth Monte. Mr. Chairman, panel of judges, accurate timekeeper, fellow debaters, distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am glad as a woman to stand here today because this topic is of utmost importance to women. Attaining 40% women representation in parliament in line with the Interparliamentary Union Resolution. This is not just about Ghana, but this is about the world. That is what my opponent failed to consider. Is Ghana ready? Yes, Ghana is ready to achieve 40% representation in parliament. I will talk about the significance of the reason why women must be included in our parliamentary debates, our parliamentary seatings, and our parliamentary discussions. The IPU didn't just get up in a day and decided that they were going to give voice to the voiceless, as women are seen as the weak vessels. My opponent stated clearly here that men are the heads of the family, and yet women play the roles as helpers. We do not doubt that. But we also want to let you know that women have played significant roles in the absence of women. Taking into consideration a woman whose husband is dead or who is a divorcee but is able to raise children on their own. What shows that if these women are given opportunity in our country, they can and will not be able to lead. Now, in 1995, during the Fourth World Conference on Women in Benjin, the IPU set a standard to achieve at least 30% women representation in parliamentary bodies and ensure gender balance and equal participation in decision making. This brought about the evolution of the representation of 40% of women. I understand that there is a saying that little drops of water makes a mighty ocean. Ghana did not become Ghana in just a day. And so I would want to rebut and say that if my opponent said growth is not readiness, then it is a lie. Because for an ocean to become an ocean, it needs little drops of water. Now, what are the little drops of water that Ghana has put in place to ensure that they are ready, or to say that they are ready for this particular achievement. Current representation levels. Mr. Chairman, Ghana did not just attain a higher number this year in parliamentary after our, our last voting. Currently, women representation in parliament is 14.5%. And we need a shout out to that. I tell you that this is because policies have been put in place. This is because sensitization and awareness is on the rise. This is because NGOs and everybody is making sure that they are taking their quota and their stance in making sure that women know their, their place in society and are ready to captivate the opportunities, the willingness for political parties to give opportunities to ladies are one of the things my opponent did not check. The NDC has, for example, in their previous elections, nominated and appointed a woman to be a running mate. This is telling us that Ghana is ever ready. A child does not wake up and start walking. A child crawls. A child makes steps and the child walks. It doesn't mean that the child is not ready to walk. It means that there are principles and there are lines you must follow in order to walk. 
Magic can never happen for readiness. Readiness comes because you have prepared yourselves well enough for what is ahead of you. And I must commend Ghana for how far they have come. There is a policy now that allows gender policies in almost every institution in Ghana. Due to this, an institution like Whole Technical University currently has a gender policy. And because of that, we, do, we no longer elect women commissioners. be made representatives and why should they be allowed to be in parliament and have a higher number? Women are able to deliberate on gender related issues better than men. As women, we are mothers and we understand that social protection, child labor and other consequential effects or things that happen in society are affecting us negatively. How many men are concerned about the welfare of their children? Daddy pays the fees and that is all. He doesn't even know your class. He doesn't even know the name of your school. But our mothers, our mothers are ever ready to guide us in the absence of all this. Men claim that women are not able to act in their various roles and are just helpers. But let me put you wrong. Today, we had a female speaker of parliament. And I must say, she did extremely well, which tells you that if women are given the opportunity, we shall shine beyond what you know. Now, capacity building and support programs. If you have realized, she didn't get here on a silver platter. It took the capacity building of parliamentary affairs. It took the capacity building to make sure that she could sit on the podium today and do what she did. We are take steps, and we cannot walk if we have not crawled. And like I said, it's ever ready. Why? There are bills and policies we have actually introduced. The gender policy, the affirmative policies, what have they done to us? This has improved decision making. There was a decision to be made on sanitary pads and how expensive they have become. My opponent here is a man, and yet he complains about how expensive sanitary pad is because I know he buys it for his girlfriend. And I know, and I know that he has a sister. And I know that before his mother reached menopause, his mother was buying sanitary pads. And so due to sanitary pad being expensive, his father keeps lamenting in the house. But yet, there were women in parliament who were bold enough to stand and say that tax should be abolished because menstruation is not an option. Enhanced economic performance. Studies by mixed tiny company and Pesting Institute of International Economics suggests that companies with diverse leadership, including gender diversity, have better financial performance and better governance performance. Men cannot know it all, and men cannot know the trivial issues of women. How then do they speak on our behalf if they are not giving us a fair representation in parliament. Focus on social issues. Why is the Minister for Gender, Social Protection, Minister for Gender, Children and Social Protection, not a man?
but a woman. It tells you that there are certain things a man cannot do and a woman will do better. And that is why we are always given the opportunity to shine whenever there is one. Improved trust and confidence in institutions. It is believed that women are able to handle their affairs. I know that you have a WhatsApp or a smartphone. And so you have seen the recent trends on social media, which says that give to a woman and she will multiply. Every woman, let me use this scenario that every woman being given a sperm gives us a baby. Every woman being given money for foodstuffs gives us meals to choose from, etc. It means that a chunk of women representation in parliament gives us a reason for our voices to be heard and a reason for women to have their appropriate stance in parliament. I know that a lot of people are surprised with the increasing population in our country. If Ghana's population, which was conducted by the 2021 Population and Housing Census, reported that 15,631,579 women are in this country, 15,200,440 males are in this country, giving us a difference of 437,237 437, differences in this representation, make it 2.8%. It tells us that women are the dominating capacity in our country. And like the saying goes, should I move on my opponent as you are looking at me? Like the saying goes, majority carries the vote. Why then do you believe that if majority carries the vote and these are things and the songs of our men of today, you are not willing to give us the space that we want? If majority truly carries the vote, then Ghana is not just ready for 40% women in parliament. Ghana is ready for 60 to 40% ratio. You have with the two women minutes taking more. 60 against the 40. Mr. S Madam, Ma Mr. Mr. Chairman, I want to finally conclude that, like my opponent said, there are challenges. And if there are challenges, what are we supposed to do? I have highlighted on a few. Ele election reforms, party reforms, balancing family and political career, and hostile political environment. Why am I mentioning hostile political environment? Our men see us as competition, and so they are against the increasing rise of women in parliament. But I am happy that I heard that a caucus is in parliament for women now. And so our voices will be heard and our grievances will be channeled. I want to say Aiko as I end. And I want to say that our stepping stone of bringing the affirmative policies, the affirmative bills, the gender bills, and the good works of our NGOs in making sure that sensitization and awareness have been handled very, very well, is giving us the upper hand of seeing the increasingly rising women in parliament, with our standing now being 40 women out of the 275, which is an achievement. This achievement is one of the many reasons why I said Ghana is ready to achieve the 40% women representation in parliament by 2024, 2040. Thank you. Thank you very much. 40 minutes, 50 seconds. Thank you.